the scripture says in Romans 3 verse 23, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And you might be asking today, what is the definition of sin? 1 John chapter 3 verse 4 clearly says, For the transgression of the law is indeed sin. Sin is a deliberate choice to violate God's law. Well, there are private sins and public sins. Today, I would like to just uh, reveal to you the uh, public sins of the General Conference of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. The first one is the glaring misuse and uh, taken out of context quote of Ellen G. White purportedly the General Conference of the Seventh-day Adventists is promoting the 1911 Great Controversy by Ellen G. White which was revised and had additions and deletions and not found in the original Spirit of Prophecy Volume 4 Great Controversy of 1884 and in the web website of the General Conference uh, run Project 2.0 Great Controversy of 1911, they used Ellen G. White's quote and it was not pointing to the circulation of 1911, but it was pointing to the circulation of 1884. There was dishonesty on the part of those who um, put those quotes of Ellen G. White Another sin that is so public is the glaring uh, Bible lessons for the children. In the children's ministry department of the General Conference of Seventh-day Adventists, as they uh, make this uh, fundamental beliefs, the 28 uh, uh, child-friendly and child-readable, uh, they had inadvertently violated the second commandment exodus 20 verse 3 thou shalt have no other gods before me singular because in their lessons for 28 ways to love in their number two lesson they explicitly say and teach that there are three gods that make one god that is a statement of violation of God's holy law. You see, friends, for so long, the Seventh-day Adventist John Conference had led God's people into conforming to Rome and to apostasy. The church that I have served with all my life, with all my strength and my time had indeed clearly departed from the truth. And that's why it is appropriate to say that with Pinehas and Hopni, the son of Pinehas, Ichabod, clearly defines the church. The daughter of the General Conference had already departed from the truth. truth. They had violated the first commandment, which is the worship of the one true God and His Son. Jesus Christ the Lord God Almighty and the Lord Jesus Christ reveal to us that there is only one God even Christ himself the Son of God showed us this in John 17 verse 3 and this is life eternal that they might know thee the only true God and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent speaking in the third person referring to himself friends the sins of the general conference of the Seventh-day Adventist will be judged by the Holy God and in that it is within our our duty as watchmen in the Tower of Zion to call these men and women to account for their sins to account for their suppression of Ellen G. White's writings account to justify their uh, agenda to bring the church closer to Rome 
and to conform to the world. The sin of presumption, the sin of arrogance, and the sin of unbelief in the literal Son of God. They thought that they can explain to the people who God is. What they don't know is that the Bible, even if they suppress the uh, light given to Sister L.G. White by hiding the truth from us, they cannot suppress the truth from the Word of God, which is available to all. And so today, I would like to call on those who are um, searching and diligently hungering and thirsting for the truth. Let the General Conference men and women, those who are being paid by the tight money of God's people to render themselves accountable, to render themselves in strict compliance. If they are righteous more than the Pharisee and scribes, then Jesus Christ, the Son of God, will accept them. But if their righteousness will not exceed the counsels of the religion of the Jews, they are liable for condemnation. And so may God the Father and His Son be vindicated and their Holy Spirit will move forward to awaken few people who are diligently searching and seeking the truth. The general conference leaders, your, the blood of the millions of the Seventh-day Adventist people, if they will not be led to the truth, will be in your hands. This is a fact. May God call His true people to stand and not bow to philosophical idols of Trinity and Baals of money and conformity. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I pray. Amen.